Ernest Cline opened a whole new world for us with his groundbreaking bestseller, Ready Player One. Now, he and guests Dan Farah, Shara Senderoff, and Aaron McDonald are here to tell us how we can all experience an immersive new world with the Readyverse in Readyverse Studios. Welcome to the South by Southwest studio, guys. I'm like, like shaking right now. <laughs> it's happening. Like it's, it's like starting to become what we imagine it is. This is dope, right? So, Ernie. Yeah, I know I just called you Ernest Klein there, but that's teleprompter. That's like, right. this is this is me talking to you now. All right. If you were to explain, because Ready Ready Player One in the world of the Readyverse, the universe of the Readyverse, is just so massive, and there's a lot that goes into it. If you were to explain that universe to someone that has no idea what it is, how would you do it in the most simplest way possible? Whoa, that's a tall order. <laughs> uh, but well, uh, the kind of the idea presented in Ready Player One in the novel and in the movie. Uh, and what we're presenting here in reality uh, is the idea of an interconnected uh, digital world where um, all the IP, every movie you've ever seen, every book you've ever read, um, uh, uh, every real place you've ever visited also uh, exists in this interconnected uh, sprawling virtual landscape. Uh, instead of a, navigating the internet through a two-dimensional tiny window, um, it'll become, and it has become, is becoming a three-dimensional space where all of this uh, stuff that we love all kind of can coexist. And what we're doing is laying the groundwork for uh, the kind of experience presented in, uh, in my novel, which, you know, uh, I was just spitballing. I was trying to imagine the coolest possible future version of the internet and the coolest possible future version of video games and, and the, how they would evolve and become one. And uh, I never expected it to happen in reality so quickly, uh, you know, after the book and the movie. But um, uh, it's almost like a feedback loop of a lot of people are taking inspiration from mm -hmm. the yeah. book and from the movie. So it's really the coolest thing ever to happen to a science fiction uh, writer to get to be involved in, in, uh, in helping the thing that you imagined mm -hmm. uh, come about is really cool. You, so basically, I was goofing off and they took it seriously and now right, it's... Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's so much easier to sit at a... I remember thinking this uh, when I was watching the stacks be built for real in London. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so much easier to sit at your keyboard alone and, you know, imagine, you know, 100 foot tall stacked trailers, right. but it's then seeing, as, <laughs> as a result of me typing that, then there were people who went and had to get welding torches and, you know, yeah, <laughs> build yeah, yeah, a yeah. bunch of those for, for real. So that was a lesson for me in like uh, seeing your ideas manifested mm -hmm. in reality. But also, I was very lucky that I think I was imagining something that a lot of other people were mm -hmm. imagining at the same time. People in the actual technology sector, people like Shara and Aaron, mm -hmm. who are, uh, uh, and that's why it's so exciting to partner up with them to, um, uh, have them value my opinion on you know something that was just a fantasy for me, and I was imagining this uh, virtual world um, uh, for storytelling purposes. Right. But now to see how many of those storytelling ideas convert to uh, doing it in the real world and or w actually apply and would make a good experience for for people when they yeah. give it a shot. Oh my See, I came up as a copywriter in advertising, and what they always tell you is, go big and then we'll dial it back. <laughs> right. But now I'm like, that's a lie. Ernie went big and they kept going big. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Living proof, living proof. Uh, so ex like, this is for everyone. Explain why the Readyverse is more than just an interactive game version of Ready Player One, because I'm sure it's, just, it's gonna be way more than that, right? Uh, I think of it as a compatibility standard. It's mm. laying the groundwork, it's creating a system that everyone else who wants to build inside the Metaverse can, mm. can build on. Somebody has to lay down the, the track for the train to go on mm -hmm. uh, and create uh, an egalitarian technology that everyone can use, uh, and that's what excites me about it, and that's what I try to convey in, in the book and the mm -hmm. movie, the idea of, because uh, that's how the internet felt to me right. uh, as a younger person, suddenly it was, um, gave me access to the whole world, uh, <laughs> everywhere, for free. Uh, everyone <laughs> suddenly had access to all this information that before was not accessible, and all kinds of media. The internet was really a powerful tool that all of us suddenly got access to at once, and right. it changed art and music and cinema, and um, you know, and that's, that evolution of, of uh, humans and our technology, it's never stopped. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it, it's driven by imagination. I'm learning as a science fiction writer, uh, you know, I drew uh, uh, on Ready Player One from all the things that inspired me in my imagination, all the books and movies right. and uh, uh, television shows and, and uh, real life experiences that inspired me real, and, and my experience with video games. Mm -hmm. All that informed me 
uh, imagining, oh, well, how, where's this going to go? Where mm -hmm. is video gaming and uh, uh, the internet, where are they going to go? Mm -hmm. and, and imagining that uh, was so much fun, but now it's actually coming about much sooner than any of us We've expected. We've like imagined it's an ex inception going on. We yeah, imagined yeah. that. And now we're imagining as technologists how to make that stuff real. Yeah, you know, yeah. And it's this kind of cool transitory thing between ideas on paper into things that are building. And like Ernie mm -hmm. said, it's you know, what the Readyverse is trying to do is create that platform and the tools to enable people to build interconnect experiences. Right. Instead of saying, hey, here's our, our app, mm -hmm. come and build something inside of it. Right. Here's a standard that you can use for creating interoperable content. You know, here's mm -hmm. a standard for letting people carry their identity with them through different applications. Here's a way for you to carry the things you love and you care about in the digital world mm -hmm. with you between applications. So that's really what the Readyverse is doing, is building those kind of foundational bits okay. that enable the ideas of interconnected worlds to exist. Mm -hmm. um, and then on top of that, kind of powering up the first experiences right. on top of that to show everyone how it's done. Okay. And that's what we launched yesterday was like kind of our flag flagpole open nice. to show everyone how this technology can be used and how you can go and create those things yourselves. Mm -hmm. I was just showing the trailer and it is, it, I don't know if you guys saw me. I was like watching it. Like, <laughs> this looks like really cool, but you were about to. I was going to say, you know, uh, Ready Player One is just the first of many big beloved pieces of IP that we're bringing mm -hmm. to these interoperable experiences. Yeah. Right. You know, the, the goal is for there to be many, many games and experiences that are all interoperable based on tons of beloved IP, mm -hmm. big brands. And uh, we're, we're in talks with a lot of other really big IP that we'll be announcing. Okay. That's and not great. just the big, like if you're an indie studio, you know, developing your cool little thing mm -hmm. and you want to connect it to this platform and to the standards, then we'd love to talk to you. If you're just a kid in your room who wants to experiment with that AI generative tools and make some content or an avatar mm -hmm. or, um, or some, some cool little mini experience, you can do that too. Yeah. So I think one of the great ideas in Ready Player One was just that everyone had a chance. Right. You know, even the poor kid from the stacks and enabling that outcome, you know, in, in a way that doesn't, that isn't extractive. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like we're saying come into and build a page inside of our world right. that we own and we control and you kind of, you dominate. It's the opposite of that. It's like, here's the tools, here's the open standards, mm -hmm. here's the, um, the rails, like Ernie said, that you can you can drive your imagination across. Right, and if IOI comes, we're gonna kick their asses, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, we're, we're trying to engineer it so IOI can't even exist. You oh, know what I mean? Nice. So, yeah. Right. If it's built open, mm -hmm. then it's hard for that to happen because no one can take control. Defeating IOI before they even happen. Exactly. Right. This Outsmart is, those guys. All right. This, I feel like we're in Terminator right now. <laughs> Stop the future before it even happens. Yeah. Uh, walk me through like the step by step. Do I need to get a headset? Do do I need to buy something? Like, how does that work? No, I think yeah. like the step, the first step is to own, start to own your digital identity. Mm. That's the key. Mm. Like, if openness has to exist, and on the basis of everyone owning this shit, that's like the core of it. Right. And that that the thing that is most important is to own the ID you know, the thing you take with you between every application is your digital identity. Mm -hmm. That's not necessarily your avatar. You can like change right. your avatars around and, you know, reskin those things and mm -hmm. do all that kind of stuff. But like the core essence of who you are, your your sign into those different experiences. Mm -hmm. So we call that ready pass. Okay. It's like a passport, you know, digital passport to the to the open metaverse. Okay. Um, and you can like a passport, do cool things like put your profile in there, mm -hmm. you know, share your data with the people that you know, the applications that you want to do yeah. that with and keep it from the ones that you don't. You can have like a social security card. Yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then you, and you can, you know, put your content that you love in there. So if you want to create an avatar, go and create one. If you have one already that's mm -hmm. compatible with the, the platform standards, bring that with you. Um, if you want to buy one from us, we've got We've got cool IP that right, you can right. go and mm, use like that, that, use those ones, you know? <laughs> You're talking about earlier about some some cool stuff you'd like to see and we'd oh, like peace. to make that magic <laughs> happen, you know? So yeah, so like that's the first start of the journey. And then what we wanted to do is find, make it easy for people to discover connected mm. experiences. Okay. Because in the flat web, we have Google, right? Go mm. there, you type what you want to, you know, find. know, see, yeah. find. Mm. Um, and you zoom through to that website. And that doesn't really exist for the immersive web. Right. And so 
you know, again, Ready Player One as a meme is the place you discover mm -hmm. the immersive web. You know, that's what people have in their heads when they think about it. Um, and so we created a whole bunch of tools to now enable um, immersive experiences to have an address that's mm -hmm. discoverable. You know, just like in the movie, your system agent you can talk to and they can help you find the things you love yeah, and things yeah. you want to do and navigate that more immersive space. <sighs> There's such big ideas, and now I want to like for the people at home to really like kind of hone in and like understand the Readyverse and Readyverse Studios. So, Shar, can you talk about uh, Readyverse Studios and how that operates within the Readyverse? Yeah. So to summarize what everyone talked about, Readyverse Studios is the next-gen technology platform and experience studio. So we're working with IP holders, like Dan mentioned, big and small, mm -hmm. to develop experiences that will be the initial experiences that we take part in creating within the Readyverse and then Open, which is the AAA metaverse, mm -hmm. multi-bio, multi-IP, multi-game mode, AAA game mm -hmm. experience. So that's the way people are thinking, I can go into Fortnite, I can go into Roblox, I can go through a battle royale experience. Can I but drive a DeLorean? All of, oh, yeah. Yeah. of course, in, of course in ours you will be able to. <laughs> but in those experiences, everything that you own, like Aaron was just talking about, is, is locked into those platforms. Mm -hmm. And so an open world and an open gaming experience and open experiences in general need to be created so mm -hmm. that you can take the things that you love that you buy with you. If you buy a flying DeLorean, you can take it into another game experience and it will be compatible and adaptable to that game experience. So you're not being locked into a single world. So yeah. Readyverse Studios is the umbrella company mm -hmm. that creates experiences underneath open, like Aaron mentioned, and what we premiered yesterday right. is the game. And then from there, we also have a concept we announced yesterday called The Hunt, mm -hmm. which is a meta game, like the Easter egg hunt within Ready Player One that mm -hmm. exists on all platforms, yeah. not just in our platforms, on Instagram, Twitter, X, you name it. Yeah. The, the hunt exists, and it's a series of quests that consumers can engage in to earn rewards, points, and then ultimately connect to other experiences mm -hmm. so that the things they do online just continue to multiply in value mm -hmm. to them in, in a bunch of different ways. So. Will I get to meet Callahan at the end of this hunt? <laughs> <laughs> you win. Cool. about cool things like that, you know, what are the, what are the things that like like what's embody at the end of the, status yeah. or like rewards that are kind of aspirational to climb you know, just like winning the keys to the Oasis, right? right? What's the thing that gives someone the, you know, not just the kind of, you know, material value, but, right. but that kind of extra status. And those kinds of things are the cool things you can do with, with the digital content and digital um, experiences and, um, and translate some of that kind of um, magic from the story into these, into these real world things. I think the best way to think of Readyverse Studios is we're just planting seeds mm -hmm. for the open metaverse. Yeah. That's really what we're about. We don't want to own it, we don't want to control it, we want to make it happen. Mm -hmm. And you know, we're building these standards and planting the seeds of these cool experiences. And I think for the first time to show people what true openness means. Mm -hmm. And if people get that magic, they'll expect it from everyone and that should change the fabric of the internet. See, that just fits with the themes of your book and the movies. Like, yeah. you know, it's for everybody. I dig yeah. that. Talk to me about my avatar. Like, do I use my real name? Like, <laughs> who can I be? And I also <laughs> kind of want to ask if you were, I'm pretty sure you're going to make your own avatars. Oh, I would yeah. like to know oh, what yeah. those avatars would be yeah. as well. But uh, yeah, talk. what can I do with my avatar? What are some of those like crazy things? I know you said we could switch skins, we get the passport and... Well, eventually you'll be able to do whatever you can imagine mm -hmm. and whatever any, any developers can imagine. What we're doing uh, with... By creating this standard uh, uh, of the of the Readyverse, um, I think about it in like terms of the movie. Like if you're going, if uh, you had the Iron Giant, right? Uh, if your avatar owned the Iron Giant uh, and it existed just on the Iron Giant biome or in the Iron Giant planet, uh, that was a recreation of that whole movie. Right. Um, but you wanted to take it to uh, Planet Doom and fight Mechagodzilla. <laughs> uh, you would need um, the standard. Uh, uh, that the Iron Giant works on, where it has kind of the same uh, like uh, hit points and, and values and power levels mm -hmm. that would be convert and allow you to take it to Planet Doom and Mechagodzilla and all the other avatars that you're fighting there have that same standard. Anyone who creates a new world and adds it to the metaverse can use that standard and then everything will be interoperable. That's the word okay. that we use is interoperability, where everything, your uh, Ready Pass and the Readyverse standard it's all interoperable. And Readyverse Studios is kind of a, a way for IP holders uh, like myself or anyone who you know owns uh, anything 
um, uh, any intellectual property that people would want to experience, mm -hmm. like Harry Potter or Star Wars or Star Trek or Barbie, you know, uh, it's there will be a communal virtual space that people all over the world who are excited about something can get together. One Piece can jump into the One Piece uh, uh, experience that, that the fans themselves could create using the Readyverse standard. And then you're hanging out with all the other people who love the same stuff. Uh, and you're dressing your avatars uh, uh, like the characters uh, and you're in environments that are like the environments in the the movie, that's what gets me excited about uh, Readyverse Studios, mm -hmm. is showing uh, people, you can kind of get a glimpse of the possibilities in the movie, yeah. uh, you know, of, but anything you can, anything human beings can imagine, now we're at the precipice of being able to do. And by creating a, a world that's interoperable and all these standards apply, um, uh, that's what makes it possible. You need that, you know, uh, that foundation for this world that we all imagine that we're going to get to live in, uh, we have to lay the foundation for everyone to help us build on top of it. And we, and in terms of like what you can create and who you can be, it's really anything you want, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. it's with, it's what your imagination can come up with, it's what someone else can create that you can love, that you can buy or you can, you know, get involved with. Could be a brand. It could be a studio, mm -hmm. like Ernie said. Um, or yourself. Radio, yeah, or, your, like or just be yourself. Yeah, yeah. You come as yourself. I'll be the most badass version of myself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> and that's the, that's the cool thing about it. And we've Readyverse has partnered with a technology company, Futureverse, um, who has foundational models and generative AI. Mm. So literally, type who you want to be. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we won't and talk, we'll bring we that. We won't talk about who Ernie's avatar yeah. will yeah. be. Yeah, I want to we'll, talk about we'll that. that. <laughs> we'll, we'll save, save that, that for, for another later. reveal. Really? Okay. We'll okay, save well, that for another reveal. God dang it. I want the avatar that. creation process that we're developing is so exciting because mm -hmm. it's working with a, an AI, a system agent, who's, you know, w uh, whatever kind of person or alien or entity that you want to be there, a robot, whatever you want uh, to be your, your curator and help you build your avatar. And then you could stand in front of a virtual mirror and just say say different things. I want to be dressed like this. I want this body shape. I want, uh, and you can create your avatar like that without even having to use controllers. Yeah. Just use your voice, uh, and uh, and then once it's ready, uh, you can save and you can save different versions of your avatar uh, and outfits to put on for when you're going to the dance club or you're going to like a. a uh, cosplay will never be easier, right? When you could just, uh, that's what gets me excited. I, you know, their metaverses have existed in the gaming world for a long time, but they're all a closed, isolated thing uh, like Fortnite or right. um, uh, Grand Theft Auto Online or Star Trek Online. Uh, there's no interoperability between this stuff. So once you get bored of that game, uh, then all the stuff that you've earned and the dope avatar that you have, all of that uh, is just kind of locked to that one right. metaverse, but man, what if that stuff was compatible with every other You just pick uh, it up metaverse. and take it to a whole other thing. Right, That's and, cool. then, and have it work, <laughs> have it be interoperable and have it work. That's the fantasy that I imagined in, in Ready Player One and is depicted in the movie is the one video game to rule them all. Mm -hmm. when, the, you know, when all the video games become interoperable and connected and all the other virtual experiences that you would wanna have mm -hmm. and you can move through this landscape uh, uh, and that's what this ReadyPass technology is, and just the ReadyPass mm -hmm. standard. Someone needs to create like the HTML, FTP, TCP, IP, mm -hmm. all this, all the underpinnings of the original uh, internet. That that has to be created now, which is what we're right. trying to do, and not on our own. Just like get that ball rolling, so other people uh, 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 all around the world can help us. Mm -hmm. We can all build the thing that we're imagining. It's incredible, man. So like this is basically what you're describing is the ultimate escape. The ready versus yeah. the ultimate escape. And you've already, I have the question of uh, like, how would you describe it as and how people would use it as a way to escape it. You've already hit the nail on the head. But now you've got me really intrigued because I can't know Ernie's avatar, apparently. <laughs> right? I'll just wait for that information. But what about your avatars? Like what, what avatars would you guys choose? Still, still making that decision. <laughs> I, I have a beer with like a gold mohawk as like my main <laughs> avatar at the moment, so that's like who I'm gonna rock. He's that's got like pretty dope. Why little army it? tags. Uh, I need There's some a story. Nicknames there. and stuff over the years. Okay. Yeah. Mohawk bear, bow bear. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. But yeah, and my my brothers, we each have one, and so mm -hmm. that's kind of like one. But. I, I have a few, There's, but that's my main at the moment. I think okay. that's the first one I'll rock. I'll look for the Mohawk bear when I'm yeah. in the Readyverse. Yeah. It'll be great. What about you, Shara? I mean, the beauty of it is you can 
change them all the time, but obviously yeah. it'd be some sort of warrior princess. <laughs> obviously. Let's, be, let's be honest. You who who wouldn't be? <laughs> I know. Right? Then the beauty is you can be that one day and the next day uh, you could show up as a fluff or as a party bear like Aaron just mentioned. Yeah. You can you can show up, wake up one morning and say, how do I feel? I feel like a warrior princess or I feel like a small little rabbit. Mm -hmm. So it's, We just got you a warrior princess avatar. The other day. Totally. <laughs> really? The have, you, have, you have you shared it with the community? <laughs> no, not yet. Okay, well, watch out for it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like you can, like, have, because there's so many warrior princesses, you could do, like, a different day a week warrior princess. Yeah. Totally. Like, oh, yeah, I wonder what And you can today. make your own. And that's the beauty, is you could literally type into a prompt and be like, actually, switch my hair, mm -hmm. switch my outfit. I want a gold outfit or I want gold shoes. And I think that's the beauty of being able to create anything that you imagine, is mm -hmm. your mind is the only barrier to what world you want to be in or how you want to feel or how you yeah. want to show up. Yeah. I think that's like principally the difference between where technology is taking us is mm -hmm. it's been a closed environment online where you can't make any choices. The choices are really confined. Pick this or pick this. Mm -hmm. And now it's opening up to whatever you can imagine right. you can be in. Mm -hmm. And so as people talk about the evolution a lot of this technology, <laughs> I think we're seeing a lot of people say, well, AI is going to take over the world. It's going to kill the world. But we believe it's actually gonna create a lot more openness and a lot more choice and empower people to be able to set standards and formats and and areas of their lives that are exactly what they want it to be and not necessarily be in a world that says you have to be this. Right, it's more of a complimentary thing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Versus yeah. like, oh, just do this all for me because yeah. yeah. that's when it starts yeah. to get way You're bigger. the creator. Everyone, the metaverse and the future of the internet is not, will never be, like Aaron mentioned, built by one person. It has to be everyone's ideas. We believe the future is a collective vision. Great. This, is, this has been a wonderful conversation, and I wish I could geek out about it <laughs> all day, but I just got the, hey, we got to go. There's other people, and yeah, I will stay here yeah. for like 10 hours like yeah, talking about this fun. thing. This is great, but thank you so much for coming by the Thank South by Southwest yeah. studio. And people can go to readyverse.com, sign up for an early email. Access. It gives early access and updates. Okay. I can't get out of this. I was, trying to, I was like, let me, let me, yeah, I'll do it like right after this. Awesome. This sounds good. Awesome. All right, you can watch all of our interviews on the, of the South by Southwest studio at youtube.com. That's youtube.com slash SXSW. I'm your host, Juju Green. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. Really good job, guys. This is awesome. That was, that was, that was awesome.